G'day Throttlers and welcome back to the channel. I've come two hours north of Sydney today, right to the tip of the M1, to meet this young fella, John O'Bab, at Justified Cruiser Customs. And we're sitting in his workshop now, and we want to hear his story. So, John, thanks for having me in your workshop, mate. I really appreciate it. No, thanks for coming, mate. We appreciate you taking the time out to come and see us. Just to give everyone a bit of a, a bit of a heads up right from the start, the custom work that Jono does is absolutely exceptional, but it's based around the metric bikes rather than the Imperial bikes. So we've got a couple of V-Stars sitting up behind us here, and they're absolutely exceptional. So firstly, let's talk about you, Jono. Um, tell us a little bit of your background and why you got into this industry. Yeah, I'm a boiler maker by trade, so it's basically Cert 3 in metal fabrication engineering. Um, did three years of advanced drawing at TAFE, so that allows me to do yeah, 3D drawings and stuff like that for what we use here in the, in the business as well. The background was basically, I started my apprenticeship for a small engineering company and we just basically did mine maintenance. Um, and from there I went and worked at a few other companies doing structural um, like buildings and stuff like that, doing all the structural steel work for that. Uh, basically it was just head with heavy fab work, preparing uh, dump truck bodies for the, the mine uh, dump trucks. And, yeah, and from there, you know, I'm a father of five sons, my oldest is just about to turn 21, my second oldest is about to turn 18, but I've got a, um, an 11 year old and I've got twin 10 year olds. Yeah, what ended up being was I just become a stay-at-home dad, look after my the three younger ones. Angus was starting school, so I was mainly just spending time with the twins. Um, that was supposed to be a girl, by the way, we tried to a girl. <laughs> After three boys, we thought, oh, we'll try for one more, see so if we get a girl and got yeah. twin boys, so that was a definite no. <laughs> not, not getting any girls there, but I didn't get my license until I was about 30. So when I bought this and then I started looking around, I thought, well, I'm, you know, I'm six foot three, I needed parts. You know, I want to move the foot con uh, controls forward and I thought, well, I can make my own because everything was over in America. And that's sort of where this snowballed from. I thought, well, I'll make my own parts. Put them up on some of the V-Star pages saying, hey, look at me, I made this. <laughs> and then from there, there's a, um, one of the guys actually reached out on the page and said, oh, can you make me a set of them too? And that is where it started from. He, he got his set and then he started saying, oh, I got these from John O. And then it snowboarded from there. I made five sets, I made six wow. sets. And then it's like, oh, okay, I'm getting a bit of money from this and I'm staying at home. So I started in my own shed, just making bits and pieces. You know, the twins are asleep or whatever. I've got the little baby monitor there sitting on my workbench and, and doing what I needed to do. And it just created that extra income. But then, you know, we had the, the time come when it was no longer a hobby and we spoke about accountant and they're like well okay you've got to register as a business blah blah so then we're like okay well we register as a business and when we started out it was actually called Jono's Cruiser Customs and Fabrication but that's a mouthful yeah in itself so you know we just dropped the fabrication off the end after a while people started to recognize what we actually did and we got that core following uh, I think we make something like 110 separate parts for just your Jack Cruisers all together, like mainly your V-Stars, Strikers, Yamaha Bolt, XVS 650, you know, they're our main target audience yep. um, here in Australia. And it all gets made here in-house. Yeah, it's amazing. I think the, the uniqueness of what you're doing here is that everything's Australian made yep. and you're supporting all the Australian made companies as well when it comes to buying outside products as well. Yeah, that's, that's right. We you know, we get all our jets from a company in Queensland called uh, Mikuni Oz. They're the importer for Mikuni in Australia. They're the only importer, so we buy directly from them. Um, you know, Burley Bars, someone comes in and says, I want a set of bars put on my bike. We only sell Burley Bars. We only want the best. We're, that's what we aim for is that top tier. You know, we want the quality associated with our name. Um, Unifield are there at, at Gosford. Um, you know, same thing. That, yeah, you pay a little bit for Australian-made products, but they make a fantastic filter. You know, and some of their filters, they've told us the reports that some of them lasting up to 500,000 k's. Wow! So that's huge for a motorcycle. You try and find a bike that's done 500,000 k's. There's not many of them out there. No. But you know, you do. They say you do your regular serving. I tell everyone, like, to, to wash their filters, you don't need to go to Super Cheap or Repco or anything like that to buy a filter kit. They, you wash them out with um, Metho. Yep. And then you do have, have to use Unifilter's oil, but it's cheap as chips and you can get it here easy. All right, so what I'm seeing here is a lot of V-Stars. So 
tell me why why is it V Stars that you really lean towards to do your customised work? Um, v Stars is basically nobody really makes parts for it, so I don't have any real competition. So I don't have to compete with anyone. And the ones I do have to compete with, we just try and make our product a little bit more appealing. Um, some like with the extension kits and stuff like that. We drill and tap the hole so there's no nut on the back side, so it makes it a lot cleaner. So that's what we try and pitch to our customers um, to say to them, you know, we, we, it's a clean look. Yeah, some of the parts we make for the, the cruisers too, like some of them don't even get made at all. Uh, and a lot of people come here, and that's why they do come here, is, is because they know they're going to get a quality product. But on the other side of things too is, I like to think of us as a lot more approachable. Like you go, this is nothing against the, the big guys who do their Harley work and stuff like that. A lot of um, guys and girls, uh, they get intimidated by going into a big burly bike shop um, and then asking for parts for their, their V-Star and stuff like that. And here we just have an open door policy. Like we've done a few Harleys, we've done a, a bar install on a Road King, we've done um, some stuff on a breakout recently for one of our mates. Um, you know, there's been a few over the years and we are stepping into that market where we are looking at making forward controls for the Harleys and stuff like that. Now we've got a bit of a name for ourselves and we've built our presence in the market. Now we can start aiming towards that Harley market as well. But we won't ever shy away from our V-Stars. You know, we want to look after these guys. Yeah, they call them a poor man's Harley, but in a way they are, but they are what you make them as well. You know, at the end of the day, I paid six thousand seven hundred dollars for my bike. Yeah, I've put a thirteen hundred dollar set of bars on it and made an exhaust and everything like that. But it's different. No one else has a V Star like this. I've seen some very cool chopperized V Stars and the Vulcan Kawasaki Vulcans as well. So they've, they've been some of the coolest choppers I've seen actually. And guess what? They're reliable. Yeah, Yamaha is. I think they break number three for the most reliable bikes. You know, BMW, I think, was up there and um, there was another one. It wasn't Triumph. Yeah. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're, they're unbreakable. You know, they've got ceramic bore in them. So as long as you keep the maintenance up to them, they'll go forever. You know, the, the, I've seen some of them. They go around the clock and then they resell them again. At, you know, they've got 170,000 Ks on them because yeah. the V-Stars click over it at 100,000. So, you know, and, and they're still going as the day they got, they got them. Yep. You know, I can see the difference between you go spend 30 grand on a Harley or you spend... 10 grand on a brand new V-Star. You can see the difference in the finishings, like the chrome's better on the Harley and everything like that. So you do get your money's worth, but then you've got the other end of the market for guys like me who only had a limited budget. My wife said, you can only spend $5,000 and I spent, you know, 6,700. But at the end of the day, it's, you know, I love it, it's great. Um, it does what I need it to do. And I'll probably never get rid of it. I'd like a bigger bike, but at the end of the day, you can only, do the speed limit. And That's right. So, um, so work experience, you get uh, work experience kids in as well? Yeah, pre-COVID we got um, a couple of kids in here. We had um, one of them was actually a girl um, and she nailed it, mate. She, she got right into it. Um, but her, her dad um, has an engineering background as well. So she's always been around that sort of stuff. But when she came in here, um, yeah, she absolutely killed it. And yeah, we offer that. So kids get to see it's it's different from a work experience point of view you know if you go to a normal engineering workshop where you're making like all your structural steel work and stuff like that, it gets pretty boring but here you get to make it's art mm -hmm. and that's what of you know that's what I want to give back to the schools and not just pigeonhole everyone saying oh you know you're going to be a ball maker you're going to be a carpenter you're going to do this you're going to do that you go you come here like we do everything from manufacturing to building the bikes so you get that whole range and we even, you know, we design a lot of our own tail tidies and stuff like that. And that's the things I get the kids involved in because they're easy to make with the machinery that we have. And we've got all the gear here to do it. And um, they really enjoy their time here because it's not just, i oh, sit in the corner and grind that for, for eight hours and then I'll come and see you later sort of thing. Or you sit there watching someone doing paperwork. And that's probably the other beauty of me being the owner and the operator is I've got that time to spend with them. So they get to see the whole business in a week, what happens from right up the top of, you know, doing emails and um, chasing products all the way down to, you know, sweeping the floor and, you know, maintaining machinery and, and everything like that.
Nice. Well, let's have a closer look at, um, at your customised <coughs> V-Star 1100. All right. So at the front there, we'll start with the headlight from Moto Lights Australia. That we've put in there. Um, Ten-year warranty. Great, great bit of kit. Now, onto the burly bars. Uh, two and a half inch, 16-inch uh, high balls. We're, what we've done with them is we've converted it over to um, Harley hand controls which allowed us to design our own electronic throttle. Now, by doing that, uh, it's allowed us to run everything internally and hide everything, so you get that super clean look. Uh, we've also converted over to hydraulic clutch. And on the tank there, we've had our own custom-made tank bib, uh, same as our seats. Uh, our seats are actually Mustang seats, but we sent them to CDY Motor Trimming uh, out at Gressford, which is local to us, uh, and he retrimmed them to our design there with the, the blue stitching. Uh, he also put our old logo, which we used to be Jono's Cruiser Customs in there. Um, yeah, our custom made exhaust. We make all our own stainless steel exhausts in house. It's all uh, TIG welded together. Uh, we TIG weld all the mandrel bends in, uh, blend all the welds out, uh, and then we get them ceramic coated. These ones are ceramic coated in, uh, it's called Ceramochrome. So it's, a, it's got an aluminium component in it, so you can keep polishing these guys. The more you polish them, the better they look. Uh, it knocks a lot of the heat out of the pipes too. We used to do a polished stainless, but you know, I've got burns on my legs from them. They just get super, super hot.